Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll take a look at the viral tape ball trend that's also been all over social media lately. Just to clarify, this is not related to nanobubbles, despite having a lot of similarities. To make these balls, you need a special type of tape, which I believe is a nano tape, but it's ultra thin. It's not the same thing as that thick clear nano tape that you use for blowing bubbles. This one is also quite a bit harder to find. I bought mine from Amazon Japan, where it's sold in sets for making these fidget balls. This is pretty unusual, because most tapes are sold for a different purpose, and this is actually the first time I've ever seen a tape product listed specifically for making a DIY. However, this does make your life a bit easier, because you can get them in a cool range of colors, and some even contain little beads that help you with the wrapping process. Even though those tape ball videos look very simple, I was honestly not sure where to start. I took the plastic bead and started wrapping it in the tape, but something about this quickly felt wrong. The tape was too plasticky and didn't stretch. After what felt like ages, I realized that maybe there's a membrane on the tape and the plastic is just a protective layer like the other type of nano tape. So I started scratching around and noticed that the adhesive layer does indeed peel off by itself. But despite all my efforts, I just couldn't get the sticky parts to wrap around the bead or do that stretchy thing you see in viral videos. To be honest, this one doesn't even look like nano tape, but just a regular adhesive similar to what you find on the backs of stickers. So I decided to switch over to the wider ones. You start by peeling off a corner of the tape from the protective film and then rolling it into a small ball. To my surprise, it worked right away, but this somehow still doesn't look like the tape balls from those viral videos. In those clips, the tape looks a lot neater and you don't have this extra plastic coming out. I was pretty confused, thinking that I'm somehow peeling the film off the wrong side, and I spent ages fiddling around trying to get it to look right. However, I eventually realized that all those viral clips are actually tricking the viewers. What they're actually doing is pulling out a section of the tape like this, folding it backwards and then wrapping it around the roll so the inside is facing out. Then they simply hold it in place so you can't see the ends. This gives the impression that the sticky ball is being formed from the outside when it's actually the other way around. As you can see, this method doesn't work for very long because you have to keep pulling and trimming off the tape. These tape balls are fairly easy to make, but the method you see online is slightly deceptive. It should actually look like this when you're making it, and there's always a lengthy piece of film hanging off the end. Almost all of the clips you see online use really quick cuts and sneaky camera angles to hide this excess tape. The reason is pretty simple, because it just looks weirder and people are more likely to watch the video for longer if they don't understand what's going on. But in summary, this DIY isn't that complicated at all once you realize that you're simply making a ball using the adhesive from the inside of a tape. The next thing I want to try is making water bubbles. I've also seen this on viral videos and it looks so satisfying. You simply hold the tape underwater and then quickly close up the ends to create a water-filled ball. I was really surprised that it worked right away, but my first bubble ended up falling back inside. I tried this a few more times and it's pretty straightforward but very fragile. The tape membrane is incredibly thin and it rips so easily. Even if you manage to complete a bubble like this, it's almost definitely going to break within a few minutes. However, it's very magical and so satisfying to play with. You can also change the design by adding glitter or food coloring to the water. I'm pretty certain that they're different strength of this tape, so if you're lucky and find a stronger one, then you can create bigger bubbles with it. If you're using glitter, then remember to never dispose of it in the water system. I usually pour the water out through a sieve or use paper towels to soak up all the remaining liquid. 
Once everything is fully dry, you can get rid of it in the bin or plastic recycling. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I've linked the tape in the description box below. Bear in mind that this tape is currently pretty hard to find outside Asia. I'm not even sure whether this is a nano tape because you're not going to find anything online right now if you search for it. However, I'm pretty sure that this trend will come over at some point, so you should be able to get these more easily. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!